Hey, welcome to your weekly bite of MMORPG news, a video series where we talk about everything that happened in the MMO genre over the course of the last week or two, new releases, beta tests, announcements, drama, everything in one easy to digest format. If you have not already, consider subscribing to the channel, hit that little bell notification, that way, you remain up to date with every single thing that I post, and I post every single week, so you're not going to want to miss out. Let's go ahead and jump in because we have a lot to talk about. Let's start this off with Skyforge. It has been a long time since we've discussed Skyforge. It has been a long time since anyone has played Skyforge. Yet the devs have gone on to promise that in spite of their long silence, development for the game continues. This is great news for all, what, three people that actively play the game? Tombstone is a brand new 2D pixel art MMO that is confirmed to be releasing before or during December 2024. Apparently, this is similar to two games that I have played, Tower of Fantasy, and Fractured Online. Contrastingly different games. And given how this looks, I mean, yeah, this looks about about the same as Tower of Fantasy looks. Nevertheless, if you're interested in keeping up to date with it, then I'd strongly urge you to go ahead and add this to your wish list. Dune Awakening has confirmed that they are holding a beta test in February this month that is going to unfortunately be under an NDA. This is apparently the largest test phase they have ever had. Unfortunately, since you can't actively disclose anything, I've chosen not to apply for it because I mean, it's just a waste of my time otherwise. But I mean, if you're interested in potentially playing it, now's your chance. Yesterday, I covered the day before. The reason being, it came back briefly for like, half a day. Interestingly enough, this turned out to be a scam. This was done by a singular person that cloned the original day before Steam page, took their ID, took their information, everything about it, and relaunched onto Steam as a buy to play game with a $6 price tag. There were dozens of people that, that purchased the game that jumped in apparently from what I've been told from MXZ Studio, what they actually did was they downloaded his demo and they uploaded his demo to, to Steam. I went through this. Apparently the original game was Carrot the Cat and then they changed to LastWhisper.exe. Last Whisper was actually a game from MXZ Studio. This, this whole thing was a gigantic mess. It was hilarious and it, it did ultimately get shut down within, you know, several hours, but it happened. Like, seriously, just go ahead, check out my video on this. It's something you don't want to miss. According to Massively OP, Haven is a co-op focused MMORPG being built by Blizzard, EA, and Turbine veterans, which sounds great to me. Looks pretty good from the trailer here. Admittedly, doesn't look bad. It kind of looks like a slightly more updated Mabinogi. I don't know. I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this. Now, before we cover any additional games, I want to take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon who allow for me to continue to do dedicated videos like this every single day. You guys are phenomenal and I cannot express how much I appreciate all of your guys' support. Now, let's keep talking. New World has rolled out their Season of the Guardian on the PTR. Dude, I really got to get back into New World and give it a, give it a look in 2024. Apparently, Lost Ark is merging all of their servers together. We plan to run two rounds of server merges that will target all regions. We plan to merge NA West, NA East, and Southern America into one enormous region. We're excited for the increased opportunities for players to play, trade, and grow together in one region, but we know there are plenty of player questions on how this merge will be handled. Probably horribly. Interesting though, that they're merging all of the Americas together. I am genuinely curious to see how this works out because I know that North Americans and South Americans are very different kinds of players. Tower of Fantasy is releasing a brand new character on February 20th. Throne and Liberty has reasserted a 2024 global launch as NCSoft releases a video. Additionally, an investor call was released recently showcasing the 
revenue for the entirety of NCSoft. And in that investor call, while they did not disclose or reveal any information, revenue data concerning Throne and Liberty, they did go on to state Throne and Liberty had underperformed and that it's working on sorting out the game's rocky launch. However, it looks as if NCSoft is banking on Amazon's global release to save the game. So <laughs> it's up to Amazon to save Throne and Liberty. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, I mean, I hate to say it, but I think I genuinely do think this game is dead on arrival because I, I highly doubt Amazon is going to be the studio, the publisher to save the game, especially if NCSoft themselves have failed to do so in their country of origin. Speaking of NCSoft, did you know they're actually creating Ion 2? I did a video on this and shockingly, they've been talking about it recently. This is going to be a cross-platform MMO focusing on PvP. It's going to be available on both PC and mobile, but from what I can tell, it is going to focus on the mobile aspect of the game rather than the PC, which is very sad. I strongly urge you to go ahead and check out the Ion 2 video I did just last week for more information. Additionally, NCSoft, I know we're talking a lot about NCSoft today, released information about a new Blade and Soul. MMO called Blade and Soul Neo Classic. Now, this is another game that I did a video on recently, just two weeks ago. I strongly urge you to check this out for more information, but essentially this is a completely overhauled classic, but not entirely classic, slightly improved, but not in, it, it's, it's a very different version of the original Blade and Soul that they think people want. They think that this is gonna save Blade and Soul, taking it back to its origins and then changing parts of it to make it feel up to date a classic up-to-date version of a game that has a lot of flaws that they are refusing to acknowledge. We're off to a great start. Again, check that video out if you're interested in Blade and Soul Neo Classic. Tarisland talks in-game economy and business model. <laughs> you, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. They will not sell any pay to win items, but they hinted at the ability to purchase in-game currency that can be used to purchase crafted items. So you can, you can purchase in-game currency. So in-game currency is going to be essentially useless. They are going to offer a subscription for players. This is news to me. And a battle pass as well. They are trying to milk players for as much as they possibly can with this game. And it's probably gonna work for a little while at least. Scars of Honor is a brand new upcoming MMO. I think if I recall, it is confirmed to be releasing at some point in the next couple years. Mrs. Six and I were flown out to Bulgaria to take a look at the game. We live streamed the alpha test recently, like literally just last week. I'm doing a dedicated video on my experience in the alpha test that should be coming within the next week. Most importantly, they are holding a Kickstarter right now. And I don't typically endorse Kickstarters and I'm not technically endorsing this one either, but if you're interested, they are holding this. It is open and available. I know Callum recently did a video going over whether this is a scam or not. He discussed in quite a bit of detail what the Kickstarter's goal is, what the purpose of it is. I strongly urge you to go ahead and take a look at his video or you know, just wait until my video comes out at some point in the next week or two. And that is it. That is everything that mattered in the MMO genre to me over the course of the last like week or two. Now, if none of these games are of any interest to you, absolutely no problem. Got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. And hopefully might satiate that thirst you have for something new.